Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the top three uh, collar mounted pet cameras that you can put on your cat or dog to kind of see what uh, they see from their perspective. I've been a big fan of these for about eight years now. The first one here, Mr. Pet Cam, I had for about, I had their first generation camera for about five years. This is the Mr. Pet Cam HD. This is their second generation, which has a lot of improvements over the first. And then this little white one here, the A100 came out a while back. Uh, and then the one in the middle here is kind of a cheap, no-name China brand. So I'm gonna be first going into uh, showing the video quality comparison between the three, and then I'm gonna be going into a little bit more depth on you know the weight between the differences, the size differences, um, the memory cards that are included or not included you know some of the features bells and whistles and finally the price and then at the very end tell you which one I think is the best so stay tuned all right so on to the video performance I have all three cameras held together uh, in mr. pet cam HD at the top a 100 bottom left and then a no-name Amazon brand bottom right what I instantly noticed is the mr. pet cam HD Definitely has more brightness, vibrance, and saturation versus the other cameras. The other ones just look a little dull, while the Mr. Pet Cam seems to just capture a little bit more color, detail, and brightness. All right, so I wanted to pause all these cameras at the same time to show the brightness and saturation differences. Number one, I have to say the Mr. Pet Cam HD takes the cake. It takes the prize. It's the brightest, has the most saturation versus the A100 in the bottom left or the no-name Amazon brand in the bottom right. They're both, you know, good. They're all three good quality cameras, but the top one, the Mr. Pet Cam, seems to capture the most light for the uh, size sensor it has in the camera. So that's the one I'm gonna give my vote for. All right, on to wide angle view. All these cameras state they have wide angle lenses, but it, from my testing here, Mr. Pet Cam HD has the widest angle. They say 155 degrees. There's no really good way, accurate way I can test that, but you can see these were all shot at the same angle at the same time. You can see my dog Murphy in Mr. Pet Cam HD. You can see a lot of my dog, Murphy, in that top video, but in the A100, he's kind of cropped off. You can't see his head or you can't really see the instructions or that little concrete slab that's sitting there in the bottom left. And then on the no-name China brand, his body's even furthermore cut off. So uh, for definitely wide-angle lens, I would go for the Mr. Pet Cam. All right, on to sun glare. I didn't think this was gonna be a big thing until I paused these videos and started editing them, but sun glare is an issue, especially if you were gonna mount these on one of your pets and you live in a sunny climate. Sometimes sun is shining into the lens of the camera. The Mr. Pet Cam HD, even with sun glare, provides more uh, accurate detail of the background versus the other cameras, which seem to get washed out when there's sun glare. So if you don't live in a sunny environment, this might not be a big deal. But if you do live in an area where you wish to put these on your pet and they're gonna be out in sunshine and you still wanna see accurate detail, I just wanted to show that the Mr. Pet Cam HD probably is the choice to go for. All right, now a little running test to see how well they do. Cause let's face it, your pets are not always going to be super smooth with their motion. All right, so on to the weight. I have a little gram scale. I'm going to turn that on, make sure it's clear. First, we're going to be putting on the A100. Looks like we're at 71.22 grams. Next up is the Mr. Pet Cam HD. We're looking at 16.85 grams. Now on to the no-name China brand. We're looking at 40.48.
All right, now on to the length, the A100. We're looking at about 6.5, 6.25 millimeters long by about two millimeters wide. Onto the Mr. Pet Cam HD, we're looking at about just a little over two millimeters. It's kind of a perfect little square. So yeah, two millimeters on all sides. Then on to the no-name knockoff brand, we're looking yeah, almost two and a half millimeters, two and a half millimeters, same on all sides. So a little bit larger than the Petcam HD. All right, on to the runtime. This one is stated to have the longest runtime of two to two and a half hours on full charge. I think that's exaggerating quite a bit. I've only been able to get about 75 to 80 minutes, and that's even on the lowest uh, resolution of 720p. I even have less than that when I'm recording on 1080p, but I would say safe to assume probably 80 minutes of runtime uh, standard on the A100. On the Mr. Pet Cam HD, uh, it's considerably lighter, so it has a much smaller battery, but it still has an impressive runtime of 60 to 65 minutes on continuous recording mode. When on motion activating mode, you can extend that sometimes. I've also heard the company's coming out with a super small little add-on battery pack that'll plug into the USB port that'll extend the life an hour or so, and I heard that's coming out later this year. Um, on this one, honestly, I'm probably going to be returning it. I thought I could thought it was going to be the same quality in, in regards to runtime as the Mr. Petcam HD, but I've only been able to get about 25 minutes of runtime on this, give or take. It's sometimes consistent, sometimes not, so don't really recommend that one. All right, next is waterproof capabilities. The A100 is not waterproof, so if you have like a dog that doesn't mind getting wet like most dogs do or running around in the rain, or even if you have a cat, my cat doesn't mind the rain, don't advise the A100. You don't wanna short out your uh, investment here. The no-name brand is not waterproof as well. It's got a lot of openings here for the SD card, micro SD slots. There's lots of area, ways for you know moisture to get in there and cause damage. The Mr. Pet Cam HD, uh, the body by itself is not waterproof, but they do include a waterproof casing that you put in, lock it down, and it makes it waterproof, I think up to three meters, which is more than enough unless your dog or cat's swimming at the bottom of a pool, but this is, uh, provides some confidence for waterproof protection. All right, next up, I'm talking about night vision. The A100 does not have night vision, unfortunately, neither does the no-name brand. Um, the only one that I found that has night vision is the Mr. Pet Cam HD. It has two little infrared sensors on both sides that allow for nighttime uh, night vision capabilities. You know, cats are nocturnal creatures. I originally bought the Mr. Pet Cam HD to put on my cat because I knew he was getting food at other people's homes in the evenings uh, at night and I wanted to be able to see in the dark. And luckily this uh, camera allowed me to do that. But unfortunately, none of the other cameras have night vision. All right, next up is ease of attachment for the A100. You just take it, put it into the little holder here. I have to admit, I wish they made it a little bit more secure. The thing just pops out super easy and I'm afraid to put it on my dog because he loves to run and I'm afraid it's not going to be held in there well. I might take some rubber bands or duct tape or something, but uh, you don't want to lose your investment. But basically, you just throw it in there like that, slide this little lever down, take your collar, put it in, Thinner collars work the best. If you have a medium or larger dog, I don't think it's gonna fit well. But that's all there is to it. Put it on your animal, and then there is a little adjustment screw here if you wanna angle it down or up. Feels a little cheap. It's still holding strong. I've had it for about a month now. But uh, yeah, that's all there is to the A100. All right, on to the Mr. Pet Cam HD. It comes with two of these holders in case you misplace one or lose one. You basically just kind of spread it apart, and you can see there's these little little bumps here and then rivets at the bottom. Those go into the little lines on all the way around the camera to hold it in place. So you basically just put it in until it clicks, and then take these rubber bands they include, put it over each one, like so, and then you take the included Velcro strap, place that under. What I've heard is they, they went with this rubber band because it provides kind of a dampening uh, for your video quality when your pets are running. There's going to be less uh, there's going to be less bouncing which can kind of make less than the best video quality. 
basically you just put it on like that and then it just hangs to get the fit footage of your pet. Now you can move this bracket forward or towards the back to kind of counter it to bring it up or down. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to attaching the pet cam, Mr. Pet Cam HD. Right, it's also worth mentioning you can buy an alternate harness that mounts the camera on your dog's back for a different perspective versus having it on uh, on their collar below their head. All right, next on to the no name brand. There's these little notches on the top, two on the top, two on the bottom, and then it comes with this little bracket. I honestly don't really know how to use this 100%. It just pops in there. Seems to seems to hold it pretty well, but I have noticed it spins. And that's not the way you really want it to spin if you're trying to adjust angle. And then you just clip it onto your pet's collar. The only thing I don't understand is there's no adjustment. So if I put it on this way, it's pointing towards the ground on your, on your pet's collar. And if you put it this way, the same thing. It's pointing up into their to their chin, so you're not going to get any video footage. So I have experimented trying to have it held this way, but I have to have the collar really tight on my pet's collar in order for the lens to stick outward. So if any of you guys own this camera or end up buying it, please let me know what you how you mount it on your pet's collar to uh, provide good video results. Well, everyone, with that being said, I have to say Mr. Pet Cam HD is probably the camera I would recommend. This is the one I've had for a few years. I had their first generation camera, too. It's on, more on the expensive side, $69.95 versus $59.95 for the A100 and like $29.95 for the no-name brand. But I do feel like you get what you pay for and you get a lot more features on the Mr. Pet Cam HD, the video quality, the wide angle lens, the night vision, the waterproof. Sounds like a biased opinion, but I was hoping to buy these other cameras for some nieces and nephews that have pets and save some money and go with these other brands. But I'm gonna have to probably go with the same Mr. Pet Cam HD. Another thing worth mentioning, Mr. Pet Cam is the only one that comes with an included uh, memory card. The other cameras do not. So if you're gonna wanna record videos, which is most, which is like what most people want to do with these cameras, you're going to have to take that into consideration. Buy a separate memory card with the order. Don't think it comes with a memory card. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.